Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to prophetic intercession with Amel. It's always an honor each time I have the opportunity to bring you prophetic messages. I do not take it for granted because I know someone needs this right now to be stabilized. Someone needs this right now to have direction and someone needs this right now for a kind of confirmation hallelujah if this is the first time you're watching me god bless you and thank you so much for stopping by may the lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically to help you know his voice and to help you know him better in jesus mighty name amen you will be shocked at, at what this person thinks about you i mean you in my be unbelievable difficult for you to believe because you did not expect this to come from them but yes those are humans for you <laughs> what humans cannot do does not exist in terms of negative surprises and so god led me to the book of second samuel chapter 17 from verse 28 it says now eliab his older brother now this is a story of david and his brothers you know, there was um the, the Philistines times were terrorizing the Jews and everyone was all the male and the, the, the army of Israel had to fight against the Philistine. Let me just give you a background story so that we don't read a lot of scriptures. So um the Philistines were terrorizing, they just sent one person, their great giant Goliath, to terrorize the Israel and nobody from their camp of of Israel had could you know, could um, come up to go fight with them. And so David, who was sent by his parents to go give them food, was talking and, and I was having a discussion outside. He came and he, and he was having a discussion. And now Eliab, his older brother, heard what he said to the, to the men. And Eliab's anger burnt against David. And he said, why have you come down here? With whom did you leave those few sheep in the wilderness like he cares about the sheep? I know your presumptuous overconfidence and the evil of your heart. Can you imagine that? For you have come down in order to see the battle. Can you imagine? He says you are over presumptuous. He says David is too confident and he has an evil heart. Apparently, he, he thinks like devil, uh, David wishes evil for them. How can you even think that? Your own brother saying that to you in front of someone. Those are the kind of things that happen to us and you are in shock. Like, I have good intentions. I did not come here to show like I am better like than every one of you. He says, who did you leave the sheep in the wilderness to? It's not like he cared about the sheep. He was just angry that David came down where the battle was being fought. David did not force himself to come down. He was sent by his parents to come give them food. Those are human behaviors. Do not be surprised when you find out that someone that is close to you stands up to you like this in public. They are just showing their evil side that they have been hiding for a very long time. And it's going to not be right for you to trivialize it or, or overlook it. You, you've got to treat that as God revealing them to you for a good reason and act accordingly. May God give you wisdom to discern the right people that are around you and to know how to work with those that are not for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.